my name is Hamza. I'm a career coach, a business coach, and actually I'm the author of The Job Seeker and The Coach. The reason I'm doing uh, this video is that I'd like to, to offer um, you know, as much help as possible to people that are affected by layoff or could be affected by lay layoff. The first thing that I would like to advise absolutely everyone is to make sure that if you haven't had the news that your job might be made redundant, then there's so much you can do. There's so much you can do to save your job because right now, at, in this, at this stage, people are talking about who do we keep, who do we let go. The decision hasn't been made and your job is going to be to be the best you can um, to, to, to basically be the one that the company would want to choose and uh, retain. So that, that's number one. Number two is use this time to start, you know, rewriting your resume, um, you know, preparing for job interviews. It, it's a fantastic time to, to prepare for this because now you do have time and this is not something you might find you have a lot of um, if, if God forbid something uh, happens to your job. So first thing first is, you know, you have so much power right now if you are not in a position where your job has been made redundant. So in other words, try and do things to help the company. Okay, try and be the best you can at your job. If it was my company, I would dream that all my employees would come together and would say, listen, we're all going to go into sales because we need clients, we need uh, to generate income. Um, I would dream that my employees would actually think, hang on, we need to change the business model. Let's suppose the situation lasts for one year, two years. How can we do business? How can we generate an income? How can we remain who we are while changing our approach to the market? I would hope that the solution would come from my employees, from all my employees. Hopefully you'll find better ways. So one of the clients I'm working with right now is, for example, designing a new way to do business, taking into consideration that this situation of confinement, of lockdown, is going to remain for one or two years. So he's actually saying, hey, how about we do this? I can lead this project. I can lead this team. I can show you that we can generate money like this. I can show you, just give me three months, six months or whatever. This is something that companies will be very, very receptive to, to hear about. So it's just, that's, you know, point number one, if you haven't been made redundant, this is something you can do. Now, point number two, let's say that, unfortunately, there is a news, some news that uh, your job might be made redundant. The number one thing that I ask all my clients to do, and hopefully you too, is to negotiate. Because, you know, a lot of people would receive their redundancy letter and they would just say, oh, uh, okay, well, it's everyone anyway, it's just the way it is, the economy. Yeah, just try and resist that. Go back to your manager, not to HR. HR, you know, executes, okay, it doesn't make decisions. HR facilitates. Go back to your manager and just say, listen, any month, but this month okay any month but this month um, I'm, I'm on my knees financially it's been a roller coaster can you please 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 delay this by one tiny month i'm not asking for much i will work like two three four employees i don't care what it takes but can you please um you know um help me with getting this um, the, the end date of my contract, not this month, but the following month or in two months or whatever. So in normal times, I would never, never, you know, ask my clients to negotiate using personal reasons. But in these times, I would. Why? Because you have human in front of you and it, it is not, um, you know, they, they're not getting a fit at letting people go. They're not enjoying this at all. Um, and they understand that this, these situations are more difficult for some than others. Exceptions are made all the time. I'm, I'm the living proof of that because I've seen this happening with my clients where people would say, listen, I don't promise anything, but I'll see what I can do. That is a chance because you can, you can give yourself one extra month of salary just like that or two extra months of salary. Negotiate is my second point. 
Third point is that if nothing is possible or if you've been able to postpone the uh, end date of your contract, then one of the things that I would um, advise is uh, to, to try and see if you can negotiate some freelance work. Now, let me explain. Usually when it comes to budgets, every single activity has its own budget. Every department has its own budget, etc., etc. But budget is divided upon department and then divided upon activities, basically. So recruitment, permanent employees, is probably going to be frozen in terms of budget, okay? So, however, freelance budgets or um, external professional consultancy work, etc., is probably open. Um, and you can very easily go back to your manager and say, hey manager, I'm happy to do this, I can take on this kind of project, I can finish this or that, I can, but I can work on freelance. Um, we, you know, would this be, would you be able to consider um, this? Remember, even if they let you go, it doesn't mean that they have nothing to do. There is still tons of things to do. So one of the things that you can do is either suggest important tasks that you know need to be done and because it's not the recruitment budget but this one would be a different budget things could be possible on a freelance basis because you would no longer be employed by the company you would be on a freelance basis so that in itself could work okay or you can actually say to your manager what's your biggest headache what's your biggest pain right now how can i Put something in place how can i do something at home that would really really help you save jobs uh, my job is gone okay fine i accept my fate but now can i do something um, in the meantime to to help um, and what about after the end date of my contract so you might say oh uh, really that's so nice of you uh, listen there's so many things we can do um, but but would you i mean would you do this for free You'd say, you know, ideally no, sir, I have a family, I have, you know, commitments and, and I hope that you can find a way to, to perhaps put me on a different budget, like a freelance budget, in order to sustain these, these expenses. But I'm very much willing to, to do what's right because I believe that if I help you, I can contribute to saving jobs, perhaps. You will always miss 100% of the shots you're not going to try. So. Uh, try, try because you have nothing to lose, nothing at all. So these are the three things if you're not concerned yet by, and hopefully you won't, by a redundancy, then uh, my, you know, biggest, biggest, you know, uh, advice is, is make sure you think like a CEO. What would you change? Be the change, pioneer the change, lead that, suggest new ideas, new approach, um, you, you know, now it's time to think how can the company generate more revenue? What can you do? Um, so, so that's point number one. Point number two, um, if things happen, you receive a letter from HR and you, you're being made redundant, then um, ju just try and negotiate an extra month or two. And number three, there's always a way to do f some freelance, of freelance work. It's a different budget. It's worth negotiating. By the way, I'm, I'm going to put the access to the first three chapters for completely free um, in one of the comments below. That's it for me. Thank you so, so much once again, and I wish you the very best. And, um, and that's, that's it. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot. Bye -bye. And thanks if you share. Uh, that would, it means the world to me because I know it could touch uh, one person that, that could massively benefit. So there's families behind and I hope that my message will reach the ones that need it the most. Um, so thank you very much. Bye-bye.